Welcome back to the channel and welcome to What's in My Action Camera Bag 2022. So if you're subscribed to the channel, you might have seen a few months ago, I did a video on what's in my camera bag 2022. Well, I also do a lot of action sports, things like skiing, snowmobiling, uh, out on my mountain bike, hiking, those sort of things. And I don't always bring my DSLR with me. So a lot of the times I have this kit right here, and this is what I call my action camera kit. And this kit's actually changed a lot over the past few years. I used to carry a whole lot more in it because you can kind of go, as they say, GoPro accessory wild. So you can get a lot of different accessories, but I've kind of honed this down to this little pouch. This is what I take with me whenever I'm going out on the kayak or the mountain bike or anything like that. This is the kit that I take. So. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys what's inside and why I chose all the pieces of this kit that I did. So first of all is the bag itself. This is from Cam Kicks. If it's still available or there is a similar bag to this one, I will link it below because I absolutely love this bag. It's perfect, holds everything I need, and it's not too big. So let's have a look at what's inside for 2022. As you can see, it's kind of a rollout bag, which I absolutely love. Just kind of start at the top and work our way down. These guys here are basically little GoPro adapters. They allow me to use my Sony cameras with all of the lovely GoPro accessories that are out there. They really kind of got a market on that kind of, I don't even know what to call it, but the connection here. So I have these guys here, which attach to the camera. And then I also have these guys here, which have the opposite mount. So these can be attached to a tripod and then this guy can kind of go together. Have a couple extra of those cause well, they tend to break and get lost. And then of course, batteries, any action camera usually choose through batteries. So I have all of my batteries inside this bag. I carry six batteries for each camera usually gets me through the day no problem at all and I actually have an extra battery at the time. Uh, this guy here it's kind of it's one of these mounts that I've kept around because it's it's metal first of all but basically it's a velcro mount so you undo it like this and I think this guy's still available on Amazon so I'll link it down below. It's actually nice metal. So you open that up and then you have two kind of round mounts and this is to mount to a bar. So usually you mount this on handlebar or you know, a, pole, a ski pole, that kind of thing. So this little mount's kind of neat. I've kept it around. Um, I use it with other cameras as well as my action cameras but I like the fact that you can fold it down and it fits nicely into this bag. And uh, that's kind of important to me that everything fits together. And these guys here kind of have like a little locking mechanism on them. You just push it to the side and then they fold. And you push that one over and it folds. And then you wrap the Velcro around it again. Small, useful once in a while. But that's this guy right here. And then in this pouch here, there's more batteries. And then this here is my love-hate relationship with the Joby Pod. So you just really can't get away from them because they are absolutely awesome if you want to wrap them around something and have them hanging or you just want to use them as a tripod. They have, you know, quite a lot of different uses. The problem is, is they don't last that long. They usually wear out pretty quickly and you have to buy a new one because it doesn't hold anymore. So that's the one thing with Joby's that I'm not impressed with is, as you can see, even this one just popped out here. 
over time, they don't hold on as good as they do when you first buy them. So I'll put a link in the description on this guy below. This is a little bit of a smaller one, uh, but I do use this a lot. So definitely gets carried in the kit. Um, one thing that's actually out of the kit right now is a USB cable. Uh, that's usually in here with a power supply. And the reason I don't have a cable in here is one's attached to my portable battery, which is what I use to charge up these batteries, which I'll get into in a second here. Um, but it's always great to have a USB cable in here. I use a multi-end one. It's got the USB-C, uh, the iPhone, and the, what is the other one? USB-B on it. So it's kind of got three wires in one. I'll put a link in the description down below for that if you guys want to pick up one of those as well. These guys here are my absolute favorite, 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 favorite thing ever for my action cameras. I really, 100% of the time, I'm using these guys in some way or another with the action cameras. And what these are is they're by a company called Small Rig. If you are into photography, you should definitely probably have heard of them before because they make all kinds of great little devices. Uh, but these are my favorite. And this guy here, so basically you get this clamp and I have used this clamp on the front of a kayak. I've used it on my ski pole. I've used it on my handlebars. Um, I've used it all kinds of on the car. I've clipped it to the car. I've clipped it on places in the bus. Uh, it's just a great little clamp because if you can see kind of actually here, I'll use this camera. You can see here it's shaped to fit kind of through a tube, but then these guys here, they also grip really good on their own. So if you want to clip it to a shelf, you can do that at hundreds of different uses. Then this piece here comes with the small rig clamp and this can kind of be mounted in a couple different locations. So this one here, you can put it on either side here or here. So I put that in like that. And then whatever you're clamped to now, when you undo this, you have a full motion to almost get any type of angle. So like I said, these small rigs are absolutely amazing. Uh, this guy here is a little bit bigger and this guy here is, well, I really got that cranked in. And they're strong, like they're all metal. So this guy here is a little bit smaller, but still gives you all of the swivels. The clamps themselves are the same, I believe. Yeah, they're very, they are the same size. It's just the ball heads themselves are different. I do prefer the smaller one only because this is a smaller kit, uh, but the larger one does hold a little bit more weight. So I will put a link in the description uh, for these guys here by a company named Small Rig. Absolutely amazing. Uh, this one here, I just kind of can't get away from. Uh, I'll put a link again down below if this is still around, but it's a clip. And usually if you're wearing a coat or a jacket or the visor of the car, there's all kinds of kind of different uses that I've come up for this clip. And the reason I like the clip is it also swivels. So whatever you're clipping it to, you still have kind of quite a few different angles with this guy. Uh, and it's super, super strong. So it holds on really, really well. So that's something I've kept in my kit and kind of haven't got rid of yet. Uh, this guy here is something that I think anybody that has a helmet cam needs to own 100%. Um, that, I think that's something I skipped over here. It was uh, this yellow clip, if anybody's wondering what that's for. That's a, a spare clip for the helmet cam. The, the reason everybody needs one of these is when you clip it onto your helmet a lot of the times if you if you don't have the mount on right it it's shooting off into the distance and it's not really showing what you want to show which is the trail in front of you 
So the little ball head, you basically undo it here and then you can tilt the camera in all kinds of different directions. I have this guy here, a little mini ball head uh, that never really leaves the kit. Uh, this is for a cell phone. So of course you always have your phone with you. So even though this is my action camera kit, I have one of these mounts in here. So if I am using my cell phone as a secondary camera, which a lot of the time I am, uh, I've got my action cameras mounted to whatever I'm driving, whether that be the kayak, the car, the mountain bike, the ski pole, that kind of thing but it's still nice to have this so that you can have your phone in it and you can actually kind of still use it like a selfie stick the other nice part about this is it's the manfrotto it also has a little swivel clip on the back so you can stand your phone up just like that i don't know if you can see that on the table but here i'll put it up here you can actually stand your phone up and it has two different mounting points so you can actually mount it like this as well. So you can kind of have it straight on or you can mount it on the bottom. So it's got two different ways here and here. I'll put a link to the description in this guy below. Uh, I added this shoe mount on the top of it for my Rode Micro, uh, which if I'm ever using my phone, I always have the Rode Micro. That's what the little shoe mount on the top is for. Okay. the. Next two things are my battery chargers and these are both USB chargers and I highly, highly, highly recommend USB chargers. The reason for this is if you have a portable battery, you can easily plug in. If you're in the car, you can plug in. If you have a laptop around, you can plug in. There's all kinds of different devices that utilize USB. There's all kinds of different devices that have USB. So chances of you finding something that's gonna charge your batteries are much higher having USB chargers versus having 120 volt like plug-in power chargers. So 100%, whatever batteries are for your camera, make sure you get the USB chargers. Uh, the cameras themselves, from the very, very beginning, I have always been a fan of Sony's low light performance. And because I originally bought the action cameras for mountain biking and I knew I was in the forest, I thought I wanted the best low light performance I could get. And that was with Sony and I've just stuck with them ever since. I have not upgraded my action cameras in a very long time. I've had these action cameras here. I think this one I've had for uh no this one i have had for i think seven years uh this guy here i've had for four or five years and same with this guy here four or five years so i'm not even sure if these sony cameras exist anymore uh like i said they're a lot older they're still the 1080p versions what i'll do is i'll link the most current version of the sony action cameras below uh, if that's something that you guys want to check out again, I've been super happy with these guys and I've had them for, you know, this one, seven years and the other two, five years. They've been great cameras for me. So this was what's in my action camera kit for 2022. So if you like this video, make sure you head down below, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this one, smash that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy out there.